guys, it's uh, early morning. Um, we left at about 4 a.m. Um, I'm on the way to actually Georgia, uh, Albany, Georgia. Um, just uh, won an auction on govplan.com for a trailer. Um, needed something potentially to haul an UTV around, maybe uh, Chris's Polaris, maybe a different UTV at some point, who knows, but um, reason for that mostly is that the trailer we had from Chris doesn't have enough uh, ground clearance. I mean, just getting some of the spots we usually get in, um, we just need to be always careful about how we pull in and uh, angles and these kind of things, and I just felt like there's just too much limitation. On top of that, the trailers going out in golfplan.com are usually pretty cheap. Um, this one in particular I got under 400. Um, it's a pretty uh, heavy duty trailer, um, used to, usually used to uh, transporting generators, so I think it has a um, capacity over a three ton or something. Uh, should pull pretty good with a three quarter ton truck. Um, but yeah, uh, the trip obviously is it's about 12, 13 hours, or actually 13 to 14 hours. Um, we're making a stop somewhere uh, along the way in Florida, Panhandle, since we're hitting I-10 and then uh, just go across. Um, I have Lauren with me. She is super excited about the road trip. Uh, leaving at 4 a.m. was definitely not uh, her favorite, but uh, I'm glad she's coming so we um, can break up the drive and uh, do a quick stop in, in Florida. But um, yeah, let's continue our drive here. I'm pretty excited about the trailer. Uh, hopefully it works out the way I anticipate. Um, I'm gonna do some modifications to it just to make it fit for the UTV. Obviously it's not, not meant for that, but um, it should be pretty good. Uh, trailer for that purpose. So we have eight, almost nine hours more to go until our first stop in Florida. So um, maybe we'll get some fishing in and some beach time, and then um, tomorrow we continue to Albany. Let's go. And there's always room for more gas for the power wagon. Haven't been driving too much. We, we're gonna go past Houston and then continue in I-10. Here we go! We are in Mississippi, uh, about I think three hours left to our stop in Florida, and I think we'll get there about 3 p.m., 3.30 or something, depending on how many stops we have left. The swamp in Louisiana was kind of interesting, there was one long stretch, uh, I think on the way back we are going to have to make sure we uh, get gas one more time before we get through there, I don't, just don't know. I don't want to risk uh, running out of gas on that stretch. There was no gas station for a long time with the trailer on the back. I'm sure the uh, the power wagon is going to just suck it down like nobody's business. So. We made it! It's 4 p.m. We just pulled in our stop here in Florida. Gonna check in, see if we can hit the beach, and then uh, we'll continue tomorrow morning. Peace.
made it to Albany. I just uh, picked up the trailer and hooked it up. I may, we <laughs> may have underestimated the size of the thing and or the uh, size of the tires mostly. Uh, those are the same tires and wheels which will go on the deuce and a half. And uh, I just didn't come across in the pictures like that. So we'll figure it out. It's all hooked up. We get the lights on. And uh, I guess we'll hit the road now back to Texas. moment of the trailer being uh, bigger than anticipated. Um, we're now like three to four hours away from uh, <clears throat> Mandeville, Georgia. Louisiana. Oh, Louisiana. Mandeville, Louisiana. And um, trailers behind us, I had to stop to get the tires filled. They were down to 20, 20 PSI or something. I'm sure they had that thing just stored forever and um, tire pressure was never an issue. Um, so I filled it up to 50 PSI, 51 PSI now. Um, that's what it's supposed to be, 50 at least. Um, it is a bit on the bouncy side, so at first, especially with the um, tires being low, the thing was jumping around quite a bit in the back. I was hoping that the, the tire pressure would, would help with that, but um, it's still a bit bouncy. So the question would be, is it is it because we don't have any weight on there right now, or... Uh, honestly, I, I, I'm not quite sure what, what causes the trailer to bounce like that. I never had the issue before, um, especially not with the uh, M101A1. That thing just trails like a dream, so... Um, never occurred to me to look up why a trailer bounces, but I guess I, I will do that now. Uh, once we had speed... Um, on a fairly, you know, flat road. Uh, there's not as many issues, but right now, for example, it's bouncing, so. Anyways, um, the front is a little bit too low. I, like I said, I underestimated those tires. Those are the same kind of wheels and tires you would have in a deuce and a half. So that should have told me already that um, they are bigger than what I'm used to from the M101. I'm guessing those are 40 inch tires, I'm not sure I need to look it up, but um, uh, we hooked up the, uh, the trailer lights, um, except tied everything down, put the temp license plate in the back, and uh, now we're headed back. For the, uh, the lower front, what I can do at least is turn that, that lunette ring, uh, turn it around, that should give me a little bit of uh, extra weight, uh, height in the front hoping like three to four inches maybe, I'm not, not quite sure, but um, that should level it out a little bit. Let's see how this whole thing works out. Um, worst case scenario, we had a great trip. Laura and I stopped in Destin, Florida. We'd never been there before and the beach was just beautiful. Had at least one uh, late afternoon and evening at the beach, which was awesome. I also stopped by the uh, Naval Aviation Museum, which was super interesting, and uh, I mean, all in all, it was a fun road trip. So worst case, maybe we'll sell that trailer again in Texas and uh, get our money back, but uh, I'm determined to make it work. Uh, it seems like a fun project, and uh, Lauren knows how I'm always up for fun projects. Anyways, um, three and a half hours ish in Louisiana, and then uh, probably continue tomorrow another uh, seven hours or something like that uh, to Boston. 